A baby daddy's lived life. So like 15 years ago, I lived in this ghetto-ass apartment complex, and the place was like crawling with baby dads. And I kinda got to know some of them. And this is what I discovered about baby dads. First of all, most baby dads in their 20s and 30s dress like this. I don't know why this is. Maybe this is the baby dad style or something? The, and they're always wearing their socks like way up here. Like way up their leg, like right below the kneecap. I don't know what's up with that, but yeah. And the second thing that I noticed is baby dads never work fast food or they never do retail jobs. You'll never see Mr. Alpha baby daddy working at McDonald's or stuck at Walmart or something. And they never, they're never managers of any company anywhere. They like to do their own thing, like their own little side hustles for whatever reason. Where they take orders from nobody. And if they do happen to have some sort of regular job, it's usually something in the warehouse industry, right? And the third thing that I noticed is, baby dads will never go to college. You will never see a baby dad graduate a university, ever. The closest they get to is like community college, but they're only there to hit on the chicks and collect their financial aid, and then once they get that, they drop the classes or whatever. And But what they do do is they, they like to go to culinary college for whatever reason. I, I don't know why that is, but... And the fourth thing that I noticed is baby dads are really slick at getting government programs. I don't know how these suckers pull it off, but they get, you know, unemployment, they get food stamps, they even get disability payments. That's right, disability. They claim to be disabled, yet they have the mobility to be knocking up chicks left and right. I have no idea how they trick the system here. And the fifth thing is, baby dads are freaking smart. So they aren't smart in the way that Albert Einstein was smart. They're more street smart and manipulative. Baby dads could lie their way into getting you to loan them 50 bucks. Money that they're never gonna pay back in a million years. And they are good at manipulating people. Kind of explains how they were able to knock up a chick without marrying her first. I mean, you gotta be a genius to pull props to that sh And the sixth thing I noticed is, uh, baby dads are always hella broke. Hell, they are so broke that they're in negative territory. Like 20k in debt due to back child support or something. And they always end up... Yep, right there, right? And the uh, seventh thing that I noticed is baby dads always drive a certain type of vehicle. Every baby daddy I've ever met drove one of the following vehicles. Either an outdated 15-year-old BMW or Mercedes, an ex-police car, also known as a Crown Victoria, a 1970s muscle car, or their favorite, a lowered Chevy S10 pickup. Yeah, this is real stuff. And the eighth thing is, baby dads put their tattoos before their kids. If they were magically given like a thousand dollars to spend, there's no way in hell that they're gonna spend it on their kids. Because most baby dads are totally selfish. They're gonna spend that money on a tattoo. Cause, you see, in the baby dad world, Tattoos are always the priority, okay? And the ninth thing that I noticed is baby dads love their highs, okay? They are always flat broke, but yet they somehow have money for weed and booze. I don't know how these suckers do it. They even have enough money to hit the dive bars at 2 a.m. and pick up on the drunk chicks. Yeah, I don't know how they do that. And the tenth thing that I noticed is baby dads love to fight. They love watching people fight, they love UFC, they love getting into fights. Baby dads will walk around town looking for guys dogging them, right? Any guy that holds eye contact too long to them, and yeah, they're in a fight with them before you know it. And the 11th thing that I noticed is baby dads always have a steady supply of booty. I don't know how they pull it off. I mean, they're dead broke deadbeats. Yet they always seem to have like a revolving door of chicks ready to bang them. And this is one of the hugest mysteries in the world. I mean, I could understand the way quantum physics works, but this? I don't think any psychologist or scholar could figure this one out. 
Even Einstein would be, like, totally puzzled about this. I mean, does he have any theories on this? Anybody got any theories? How does this happen? 